Hi, this is Paul with AppWorks, and today I'm going to be talking about using the let function to declare a variable that can be used locally within a script or globally within the file. And most of you are probably familiar with the let function. Uh, it is something that we use a lot when doing a calculation in order to clean up the clutter and make it so you don't have to have a million brackets um, where you can come through and you can declare variables that get used later in the calculation. What not a lot of people know is that if you just put a dollar sign in front of this, it actually works like a set variable script step and creates a variable that can be used anywhere. In this case, we're just breaking out a script parameter for its various list items. So for instance, if we call this particular script from another uh, script that just sets the values to one, two, three, four, and we run this, feeds in the values, and then we don't have any local variables right now, but if we go past this one step, now we have p1, p2, p3, p4, and these can all be used anywhere in the script. The only downside to this is that it might cause some confusion to someone else using or who has to edit this script because they might not know where these variables are being declared, so you need to be careful about that. So if we let it run, it just fills in the values, no problem. Uh, and this has some limited use in scripts, uh, but has more use, in my opinion, on layouts. Because anywhere you have a calculation result, you can use a let function, which means anywhere you have a let function, you can use a global variable. So if, for instance, you are going to set a conditional format uh, option on here, you come in here to the calculation, you say let global variables, so two dollar signs, overdue equal, let's just say the last contacted date is less than the current date, and then use that as, use that as the condition. Set the text to red. Now that's being called every time you go into a new record. And it's a global variable, like I said, so it'll just be here anytime you need it. And the interesting thing, too, is that you can then use that for any of these items on here. So this we can just say if it's overdue. Change the text color to red. You can apply that to as many objects on here as you want. Um, this is handy in the case of a conditional uh, requirement that maybe requires some processing and you don't want to call it for every single item that you're going to apply that to. Uh, it can also be used for things that have nothing to do with, with, with what's on the layout. Um, so for instance, with button bars, we can set the name of these or the, the label of these using a calculation now, which is really nice. And if you do that, In this case, we won't even have that be the result. So this still says one, but we're also making a global variable that just says blah, blah, which, for instance, for a report, it might be handy because you can also have global variables show up on a layout just using the merge field notation like that. Um, That is if I type in two dollar signs, which is, can be handy, or you can use it almost like a script trigger, where maybe instead you want it to be the last record you visited. You want to keep track of that. So you put in maybe the ID. now, this is grabbing the ID of whatever record you look at where that calculation is being called. So it has a lot of potential uses, uh, some of which I've mentioned and probably a lot I haven't even thought of, but I think it's something that comes in handy in a lot of places, so I hope you find that useful.